Hello and welcome to this series of videos on using timer interrupts with the Arduino Uno. Here's what you need to follow along. I'll be adding a few beginner videos with greater details on the above. Here's a basic Arduino sketch, the famous Arduino Blink. There's the setup and the loop which repeats again and again. The microcontroller goes through each line of code in the loop executing it. If there's a delay, then the microcontroller pauses there and it doesn't do anything else. So, and th the whole microcontroller is dedicated to merely blinking an LED. If we use a timer interrupt, then the act of blinking the LED happens in an interrupt vector that's outside this void loop. The interrupt vector is called once in a while, that is when the timer gets triggered. For the remaining part of the time, the loop is free to execute other tasks. So the microcontroller, instead of being a device that does only one thing at a time, can now carry out multiple tasks. It can multitask. So goal here is to understand the three timers that are there in the Arduino Uno. The timer 0, 1 and 2. There are certain related registers and interrupt vectors which we shall study in detail. For coding, I shall use the Arduino online editor. The final experiment that we shall run is to use the timer to repeatedly get the analog value of a potentiometer. Using this analog value, an LED PWM shall be set to a proportional value. I shall execute this first without a timer and then with a timer. Here are the interrupt vectors that are associated with the timers. The timer is basically a register which increments its value at each clock cycle. The Arduino goes through 16 megahertz clock cycle, that is the clock cycles 16 into 10 to the power of 6 times a second. And each time it does so, the timer value increments by 1. We can have different types of interrupts associated with the timer. There can be an overflow timer which activates when the maximum value is reached. There can be a capture timer that is that captures the value in the timer register when a certain external event happens. There can be a compare interrupt which gets triggered when a threshold value which is smaller than the maximum value of the register is reached. Let's look at this in a bit more detail. So as I said, the Arduino is operating at 60 megahertz. So each cycle is basically 6.25 into 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds. So if we are going to increment this timer for each cycle, then for timer 0, which has just 8 bits, the maximum value is 255. So we'll reach the maximum value in just 1.59 into 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds. That's too short a period to do anything useful. If we look at timer 1, which is a 16-bit timer, there, the maximum value is 65,535. But here also, if we increment the timer for each clock cycle, we would be reaching the overflow limit in just 4 into 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds. That's again a very small value. So we use a trick. We use a prescaler which tells the Arduino that instead of incrementing this value for every clock cycle, it's going to be incremented for say every 8 cycles or every 64 cycles or every 256 cycles or sometimes even every 1024 cycles. When we do this, the timers get fired at more reasonable periods of time and that makes it a very useful device for the real world. So this completes our basics for the use of timers in Arduino Uno. I, I shall be covering some more details in a future video. Thank you.